Well, here's the uh, Central Electronics 100V limiter amplifier or reflex amplifier for limiter indicator. So I've been still getting low sideband audio from this 100V and I wanted to see if I could improve it. So I took a peek in here and there's a couple of the electrolytics. There's, uh, those are grounding the audio on the cathode of these amplifier so i took a peek at that one and replaced it and i actually put a 10 uf into here 10 microfarad and this one the same it looks like somebody had replaced one of these anyway so yeah here's the old one this one has about a microfarad on it so it was working at one microfarad out of six this one looks to be over it's it's about seven microfarad so it was doing pretty well but anyway I put in these um, these small little China communist capacitors I had. These are 50 volts and they're um, 10 UF. So I'm hoping those will cure what ails this thing. What's really cool though is that when you get these taken out, you have more space on here, I guess, to fix other things. So anyway, there's the two diodes that got replaced. This thing had batteries in here so you take those out and you just put in some um zinier diodes like like i think 1.5 volts or so will work so you put in zinniers into here and that takes care of the battery problem with the regular diodes to bias them i'm almost suspicious on on this capacitor here to replace it but those don't usually go bad so anyway audio comes out of here and it goes directly to the output through here and pretty much I think the rest of this stuff is just to make the uh, light bulb light but I could be wrong I don't I don't see an audio path through this stuff at all it's mostly dealing with that light bulb well let's see this is okay that's limit adjust that's not gonna that's basically when does that light bulb light up when does it limit any two here any five one light up doesn't matter. What I care about is how is my audio getting to SSB in through here, speech level knob on the front, in through here. This matters to couple the audio, give it a path through, and dot one here, these will limit the thing, and transformer, I guess this transformer is just running the audio light. Audio comes out through here, down, into the filter. So I'm hoping that this path here is going to be a little stronger. So let's see what happens. Put it back together. What else could I really muck around with in here? I, I don't see any other electrolytics. I guess I replaced that point one. So yeah, I guess I must have replaced that one before when I was in here a while back. I don't see anything else obvious to replace that's electrolytic. So the only thing left in here are disk capacitors and resistors. I, uh, resistors, these all checked out fine. You, you want to look at things with current going through. Okay, so this 68K would matter. So I'm going to check the 68K and make sure it's got 68K on it and not over. This plate and voltage matters. And this plate is being fed through what? DC path for that plate. There's 100K here. Uh, how does this work? It goes through here. Okay, pin four. Any two. That's bizarre. So I guess that works through the uh, any any five one bulb. So we're not going to worry about that. So the plate I care about is this one that does amplification. That had been every 61K. So pin 3 to pin 1 should be 68K. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.